hello guys and uh, today topic is commutation process so what is the commutation commutation is a process of changing the direction of current through the coil or any device so let us say this is our north pole and this is our south pole and here is our rotor this is our brush this is a very basic concept I guess all you know this so let's say here is a current of entering into the motor and these are our rotor conductors put a dot here dot means current is coming output to the plane and cross cross means current is going inside the plane current is going inside the plane so you have two option either use Fleming left hand rule or use a simple current is coming through this direction and going in this direction so so curl your thumb in this direction in the direction of currents and with your thumb will give you the direction of north pole and this will be the south pole so this north pole will try to repel this north pole this south pole will try to attract the south pole so the direction of rotation will be clockwise direction or you can use Fleming left hand rule suppose on this conductor Fleming's left hand rule put your left hand according to the uh, you need to get the direction of motion so put your direction uh, your your index finger in the direction of uh, in the direction of field uh, let me show you put the direction in your like this 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 is your field direction current is coming upward and your thumb thumb will give you the direction of motion in the case of this conductor if you apply the same law in this conductor field field direction is this word field direction is this and your index and your middle finger is going downward direction of motion will be this so you will get the same answer this direction motion this direction motion uh, rot rotate in clockwise direction either you can use my rule that is thumb rule or you can use Fleming's left hand rule remember guys Fleming's left hand rule will be always used for the motoring operation left hand rule and Fleming's right hand rule right hand rule will be used in generating operation or you can use this analogy uh, so we were discussing the commutation process so here it is our commutation process this is our commutator as you all know commutator is comprised of so see the top view of a commutator this is our commutator so this is our insulations this marking insulations and these are the segments these are the segments of the commutator and here is our brush and it is rotating in this direction so this segment will move in this and this so this segment will come under the commutation so this is the mica insulation and here it's insulation and here is insulation suppose here yeah, we are taking these conductors suppose 40 amperes current is coming from here and here are the coils connected in series these coils and we are considering this coil going under commutation so if 40 ampere is current coming through this then whole current will be coming from this segment so 40 ampere current should come from this segment 40 ampere should come from this segment so 20 ampere going in upward direction 20 ampere going in downward direction means direction of current is opposite in these coils so this is what I am showing 20 amperes in the direction 20 amperes in this direction so net current is 40 ampere coming from this segment 100% in contact this brush is 100% contact take a next example same here mica insulation mica insulation mica insulation now 
direction of motion is this so our brush will come here means actually not brush but brush is virtual actually commutator segment are moving brush is static so 25 percent brush is contact with this segment 75 percent with this segment and the coil was undergoing commutation 20 ampere was coming from here 20 ampere from that because no one is collecting current over here so 0 ampere current this 20 ampere will current from there and 20 ampere current will go from there so how much current we are collecting 40 ampere at the all time from this so see guys your basic math should be strong 75 percent of 40 3 by 4 into 40 will be how much 30 ampere so 30 ampere current should come from here and 10 ampere current from uh, should come from this segment if 20 ampere was coming from these two segments always remember 20 ampere always 20 ampere will come from from the, the segments so in this coil how much current it will flow it will flow only 10 amperes it is will uh, fall only 10 amperes so you can use current law Kirchhoff's current law what it will say the sum of the current entering and leaving through a node will always be equal if current is entering 20 ampere then 20 ampere should leave so remember this coil was going under commutation previously it was having 20 ampere current now the current has come to 10 ampere we will draw a graph side by side this is 20 ampere current now current has reduced to 10 amperes take the case number 3 case number 3 case number 3 is like this this is mica insulation mica insulation and mica insulation again and this is our brush 40 ampere current leaving from here 50 percent in this contact and 50 percent with segment number 2 and this coil was going under commutation so 50 percent of 40 will be how much quick 20 amperes 20 amperes 20 amperes should come from here 20 amperes should come from here and 20 was coming from here 20 was coming from here so in this coil how much current it will be zero very basic zero so now current has reduced to zero ampere now take the next case this is my insulation brush size should be a bigger one 40 now in 25 percent contact with this 75 percent contact with this and this coil was going under commutation so how much correct we are collecting from here 40 amperes all time so 75 percent of 40 will be how much 30 amperes and 25 percent of 40 will be how much 10 amperes so if 20 amperes was coming from here 20 from here then how much in this coil 20 in this direction so 10 in this direction 20 is coming from here 10 will leave from here 10 will leave from this coil so as we have seen that previously current was going in this direction now the current has changed its polarity and it is moving in this direction means the process has started the brush has moved in this direction in this direction means the conductor which were previously in this segments in this segment have moved to this segments this this coil this coil so 10 30 amperes from this and 10 ampere from this and uh, our conductor will should have to say have got minus 10 amperes take the next case It's a very lengthy process to explain commutations to someone. Mica insulation is there. And mica insulation is there. And this coil was going under commutation. Now 20 amperes from there. Means 40 ampere current should come from here. If brush is in contact with this segment, then 100% current should come from here that is 40 ampere so here it will reduce 40 amperes so how much current should come from here 20 amperes and direction is reversed so how much current it should repeat 
minus 10 ampere so see guys current started from 20 ampere in this direction then got 10 amperes then got 0 amperes then got minus 10 amperes then minus 20 amperes so this is the graph this is your final graph and this time is called commutation time the fast will motor move lesser will be the commutation time see uh, what actually happens is this suppose uh, current was unable to reverse its polarity up to in the commutation time so this will lead to spark here around the brushes got ionized because it will have to lose the energy it will have to go to minus 20 so there is a spark in the commutator brushes spark in the brushes so there are two methods to avoid this spark you can use resistance commutation or you can use voltage commutation so guys if you want the videos on the resistance and voltage commutation please give a feedback thank you